217 and we're real excited this is the time of the year we have to light the burner okay this is a 1989 peerless boiler it's been very very reliable for me all I've ever had to do is clean it and change out the thermal couple that was uh, actually happened twice in three years so let's get to it here I've got to just take the cover off okay this is just the dust cover and it might be held on with a he says sheet metal screw Comes right off. Here you go. Comes right off. I'm gonna get jammed by something. And you can see there's the guts inside there. So nothing exciting. Got my air hose here. Very low air pressure. We don't need a lot. We're just blowing you know, a little bit here and there just to get the dust out. Get the spiders up. You know. Blow that crap out of there. Anyway. Okay. So the next thing I'm gonna do. Now usually I'll pull these burners out, but I just did it last year, and every other year works out fine for me. So if you did want to take the burners out, that's another adventure, so we'll have to do that another day. But the next step I'm going to do is to turn the gas on, okay? Gas is on, valve is still off, okay? And somewhere I've got a lighter, so I can light this whole shenanigan. And I'll get that and come right back. So the next step, what you have to do here now, is once you've got your gas valve on, I mean, I'm sorry, your gas supply on, you're going to turn your gas valve and you have to push this button to turn it. So it takes two fingers or a good hand, I'm sorry, to turn that. Okay, now it's on pilot, okay? Let's do that again. Okay, so it's on off, and you have to push this button in to get that to be on pilot, okay? Or use two hands, you know, just, but that's an interlock to make sure that it doesn't just get turned on by some little kid or some uh, drunk adult, we'll say, or somebody who uh, just shouldn't know how to uh, work a gas valve. Okay, so the next step is we're gonna hold the gas valve in the pilot, I read that same button we held in before, I'm going to hold it again. I'm going to try to set this down. I don't think it's going to work out. But there's another camera, so maybe we can get that on there. Okay, we'll pick it up on the other side. And so, uh, what the idea is to hold this button in. Okay, hold this button in. That allows the gas to slide, you know, slowly release, just pilot speed. You know, tiny bit through this little tube here. This little tube, that's your gas pilot tube, gas supply. And, uh, no, I'm sorry, that's your thermocouple coming back. This is your gas supply on the left-hand side. See, that's why I'm not a plumber. But I do know how to light the burner, damn it. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do now. All right. Okay, so I was able to light that. So now you have to hold this button in, okay? You can hold the button in, still on pilot, we're holding this in. Now what that does is it's an override for the pilot and it says, never mind what the thermocouple says. If the thermocouple says there's not enough heat, that's okay. If we hold this button down, the flame will exist, you know, continue to exist. If we let this go now, it's enough, okay? See, so that means that two things gas is working obviously because there's a flame and secondly that the thermocouple is working because it's allowing the gas valve to continue so that's pretty much all there is to it you know and uh, so now it's on I should put this shield back on uh, I think I'll do that first that makes sense even though it's quite the nice little spectacle to see flames I can take it off and look at them as well so now I can put this on to heat but because the thermostats are not calling for heat we're good. The other reason is, I had the switch off. Now it's just lit. Okay? Let's take a quick look at my flames. Okay? Now they might be a little dusty to start. Obviously, a little yellow in there. Okay? But these will be healthy. These will work out just fine. And often, what I do, and it may not be a smart thing to do, and any plumbers can chime in and say, you're a dumbass, is I turn the flame down by turning down gas okay so when it's not really cold out you know if it's not if it's not 20 degrees outside here in uh, Massachusetts I turn this thing down like this get it right down there just like that just like a little simmer okay now that may cause some condensation in my flu pipe it may cause problems you know again I don't know but I do know this it hasn't hurt me yet so that's a good thing all right so that's it for now I'm gonna shut this off I don't need any heat right now 
And I'll do that upstairs on the thermostat because it's going to get cold this week. So that's our adventure. And uh, all that's left now, put the cover on. Sort of get the cover on. And put my other cover on. We're good to go. All right, that's it. And, uh, of course, if you ever have any questions, hesitate and call a plumber. Okay? Don't do this yourself if you don't know what you're doing.